the orbital station Pioneer could host 28 space tourists who would live there for two weeks. The US company Orbital Assembly said that by 2025 it plans to build a space station in orbit that will be both a hotel for tourists and a place for scientific research. But that's only the beginning. The company wants to build another commercial station later. According to the project, the new orbital station can host at least 28 space tourists who will live inside five modules. Those will be placed in a ring which will create artificial gravity with its rotation. The Pioneer Station will be the first of two planned commercial stations in orbit. The second station is to be built later and will accommodate 400 space tourists. Our station is a safe and reliable modular construction that will start making money sooner than our competitors' stations that NASA has contracted with," said Orbital Assembly's executive director. At the same time, another American company, Axiom Space, also plans to build its space station, which could take tourists and will also be of scientific service. The company plans to send the first segment of the station into orbit in 2024. As for the station pioneer of the company Orbital Assembly, then it will be supported by artificial gravity, which will create a rotating ring, which will be placed on the living modules, a diameter of 61 meters. However, this gravity will be lower than on Earth, and nevertheless, according to the company's statement, the inhabitants of the space hotel will feel comfortable. Orbital Assembly also announced that after the Pioneer Station is built, it will build a new, much larger station called Voyager later. As for the International Space Station, new astronauts went there on April 27. But, at the same time, NASA is already preparing for the next crew launch to the ISS on a SpaceX spacecraft. A Russian cosmonaut may fly for the first time on this ship. But NASA does not know yet whether the flight will take place with a Russian on board. This is due to the tense relations between the US and Russia because the latter invades Ukraine.